Hooray, the war is over. So now, what am I gonna do with this military base? Hello everyone, this is Crafterman, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Green Plateau. So in my last episode, we won the war with Petercraft. Yay! So now there is really no reason for this military base. Now it's just like a giant hole in the ground, which looks very ugly. But yeah, so what happened was, like, we won the final battle. Uh, the way to win a battle in, like, in, like, our world here is that we meet, like, on a battlefield, and the purse, and we, like, sleep in bed so that we're that will respawn, and each the, the side, with the most people standing at the end, like the last side standing, is like the winners, and the goal is to destroy the other side's bed so they don't respawn, and they go back to the original spawn spot. Um, and yeah, so eventually everyone's just trapped at the original spawn spot, and they're all just fighting in revenge. So what happened was, um, uh, Petercraft uh, was defeated, yes, and Kaboominator, his deputy, I thought, like, he would just, like, surrender as well. But actually, to my surprise, I wish I'd caught this on camera, but I didn't. Uh, Kaboominator actually turned on his leader, Petercraft, and, yeah, trapped Petercraft in, like, a prison. Uh, he's still there, I think. So, yeah, and I was really, like, uh, glad about that. So I let Kaboominator travel back to his plateau. So now we're more or less at peace with uh, Kaboominator's side now. So Kaboominator is, like, has taken over from Petercraft now. So the Blue Plateau does not belong to Petercraft anymore. It belongs to Kaboominator, who is his deputy. So anyway, I'm going to add someone to the Crafty Club, this thing. And if you don't know what this is, I don't blame you, because I haven't gone here in over 200 episodes. Uh, so yeah, the C Crafty Club, basically. If you leave an idea for me in the comments section, and I like it, then I add your name here. So the person um, I'm adding today... Uh, I, dang it, I wish I... Oh, I do have signs. Yeah, is, um, XGamer. XGamer111. He's got a really awesome channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. He just joined my world. And the reason I'm adding him is not because he, uh, commented, but he actually helped me during the final battle, but building the ship. And he showed me how to make maps. Like, not how to make maps, I knew that. But how to put them, like, down on a block. Now, call me dumb for not knowing this already, but... Yeah, he showed me how to do that, and that that was actually pretty cool, so now I've got a lot of, like, a lot of cool things, so there's a lot of uh, signs here, well, not really, but quite a lot of signs here, and let's see, how many, uh, not many, actually, so I'm going to add his name here, so I'm going to try to add one person per episode here, because now I have a lot of subscribers, so xgamer111, hope I spelled that correctly, I think I did, I, I've always wondered, is it xgamer? Do you, uh, or is it EX Gamer? Uh, X Gamer or EX Gamer, whichever one you are. Please tell me in the comments section how to pronounce that. But anyway, um, I've always said X Gamer. I might have been saying it wrong this whole time. So anyway, um, the reason that was so cool is I just made a map of the battlefield during the battle, but now I was able to ma make a map of my entire world. Well, not the entire world, my world's huge. But like the plateau and the surrounding area. So if you ever wondered, like, where everything is in relation to everyone, everything else, you're about to see it, because I made a map down here in the military base. Uh, it's right over here. Hopefully I don't die of fall damage. Should I have armor on? No, I don't. I might die. Uh, this could be it, people. No, it was not. I only lost, like, two-thirds of my health. So here is the map. I should really pile up so you can see some cool stuff better. Um, so, uh, yeah. So this is, like, north-south. So here is the plateau, the first you've ever seen all of it at once overhead. So this part, um, wait, I should pile over, like, here a bit. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep this so people, I'll, I won't have it out of quartz because it's too expensive, but just so people can see it. Maybe I'll make it out of cobblestone and build a ladder up here. So this part is where we are, and this stone area is, like, the destroyed ground. So this stone area is the military base. It's kind of blown out. And this, this is the Mantis Coaster, which, which you see up there. That's the Mantis Coaster. And here's Tibwig. Stands for Tall Building with Games. It's my minigame area. Uh, this is just... Um, that's my spaceport up there, that white thing. Uh, this is my theater in here, in this little inlet thingy. And I should go this way now. There are a lot of, like, just wetlands over here. That's Mount Olympus. It's like a floating sky island. And here is the city of Man Plata and all of it. Pretty cool. And here is Lake Amadeus, which is the, the lake. And that's my dinosaur peninsula. Uh, that's my boat, I think. Wait, oh no, that's like floating really high. I was like, what? There's no boat there, but there's a boat like 500 blocks in the sky. So yeah, it's pretty high. 
And uh, this is, like, my house in the plateau, like the actual building there. I'm not sure if you can see it from here, but, yeah, that, that this is pretty much where the building is. Uh, that's my farm. This is all my farm and everything. And this is the bridge that goes way down there. And uh, maybe I'll pile down here so you can see that. On um, this bridge, this is the Kentucky River. It leads to Lake Benji there. And Lake Benji, I have some cabins, which you can see over there. And there's, like, a path to Manplatten. Also, oh, wait, where's the where's the pile? So, yeah, also, I have, um, let me show you this. This is, like, the plains area leading to, this is the wall, that little gray line there, between my side and Peter, no, now it's Kabuminator's side. And this is uh, the Blue Plateau, which now belongs to Kabuminator. And, um, they used to dwell in that little, like, ravine over there, in that castle right over there. But Kabuminator, when he took over, he had just recently, he only took over, like, a week ago, he recently moved them to, like, a floating city that he built. He calls it Kabuminator's Sky. So it's pretty cool. And this, it's not even done yet, the map. This is the, like, entire uh, jungle. It's pretty huge. So, yeah, that's pretty much the map of my world, y'all. So I'm gonna pile up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a better way of doing this eventually. So this military base, we don't really need it now anymore. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show y'all, like, what the plan is for, like, for the rest of our lives here. This is the first day of the rest of our lives here in Season 2. Because Season 2 is not over yet. We still got a lot to do. So, um, Kabuminator and I, we have big plans. So, we're like, um, we, we have somewhat peaceful relationships with each other now. We're still kind of somewhat rivals, but we're not exactly killing each other anymore. We're, we're like the U.S. and Russia. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go this way. We have to break this block first. Um, so I'm going to, uh, just run over there quickly. I run over to Peter Craft's Plateau. Sorry, guys. I just remembered. Kabuminator's Plateau. The Blue Plateau. Oh, my tweezers, guys. Mobs. Okay, I haven't had a problem with you in a while, but run. I don't like you. Nonetheless. Okay, Creeper. I'm gonna try to take this Creeper out first. Oh, wait, maybe I can get a music disc. Or maybe not, but the skeleton's still alive. I wish I had my armor on. I'm fighting this guy with a pickaxe, y'all. This is the the, equi the, equi the equivalent of a stone sword, I think. Um, so, yeah, here is um, Petercraft's Plateau. I'm uh, sorry, Kabuminator's Plateau. I have to remember that. I'll just call it the Blue Plateau, because that's its official name. I used to always call it Petercraft's Plateau, but now Petercraft is in jail, in, like, a tiny prison that Kabuminator, not Kabuminator, Petercraft built the prison for, like, us, but now, whoa, not only did Kabuminator abandon Petercraft's castle, he flooded it, man, <laughs> so Petercraft had his castle here, it, it was actually not a bad design, but Kabuminator has a much uh, better design where he lived, so he moved, um, everyone in the castle a bit, like, like, to the top of the plateau, like, way up there. Not, not very far away. You can still see this place from it, but it's really cool. So let's see. Uh, how how should we get up there? Do I have my any of my horses? Uh, I didn't think so. I won't, wait. Can I go up the water fount the water fountains in the in these boats? Cause Kabuminator's Sky, the play that place, it has like a lot of really cool beds and a lot of really cool mansions. So yeah, I'm look actually looking forward to going to Petercraft's uh, to Kabuminator's side now, the Blue Plateau. So let's see. How how should we get up here? Can we? Uh, okay, I have to place this down somehow. Um, come on, let, let me place this boat, dude. Okay, I don't think I can. How should I? How should I get up there though? Can I try to place it down here? Yeah, yeah, that that I can do. Okay, now I'm stuck here. Come on, come on. Get get up here. Come on, get up here. You can do it, boat. Uh, come on, you can do it. Uh, okay, whatever. I give up. So, uh, maybe I'll just pile up, I guess. That seems like the logical thing to do. Or maybe... Hmm. I, I honestly don't know how I can get up here. Mountain climbing is... You know what? I do have a pickaxe, so it's time to do some mountain climbing. So, I'm just going to find the best spot to go mountain climbing. Probably around here, because Kabuminator's, Kabuminator's Sky is up here. So, yeah, I'm going to climb this mountain now, y'all. How should we do this? Let's, uh find where there's the most, like, most of those ledges thingies. So, I have to 
and break a lot of these blocks first in order to do this. And maybe I'll just uh, break a lot of these blocks so I can, like, you see, you can already see a bit of Kabuminator's sky now. That's what he calls it. I feel that that sounds like a, such a weird name, though. Kabuminator's sky. It's like he thought of it in two seconds, I bet. He was just like, uh, what should I name my, my territory now? The, the Kabuminator's sky. <laughs> so I have to break this and, yeah, then just get out of here. Um, okay, then I break this, this, this. This mountain climbing is a lot easier than I remember it being. I uh, the f in like my the early days of the plateau. I once tried to climb up the plateau, and it took absolutely forever. It took like the entire episode. Now I'm like already halfway up. Whoa! It's a good thing I'm not scared of heights. <laughs> um, maybe maybe I'm just better at it now. Maybe I, it's the diamond pickaxe that helps. Uh, okay, I think um, somewhat almost kind of nearly there. <laughs> so is this um. Yeah, so this is good, and then I break these with my hand, then I pile up like this, like a boss, and then, oh wait, I'll turn this into Akashia wood so I have more piling blocks, uh, like this then, and then I use this thing, and then here, uh, this is probably, I should probably uh, do like this so I can walk up this now. So, there's the steepest uh, staircase you will ever find. Can I do it, y'all? Uh, I didn't think so either. But I'm gonna try. Um, now I have to use these. And then, wait, can I parkour my way up here? Yes. Parkour is very important when mountain climbing, because if not, you're just gonna fall right off and die. Okay, almost there, y'all. I've almost got it. Uh, I was planning to sleep at Kabuminator Sky, but I'm probably gonna... The sun's probably gonna rise before I get up there now. Okay, anything else I have to pile up with? Two more of these. So then I can just break these. Yes, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And almost. Come on, just like a few more ledges. Oh, I'm so close, y'all. Mountain climbing's actually really fun. This is like Mount Katahdin. Like, uh, I'm not sure if any, any of you know what that is. Neither did I until very recently. But it's like there are always so many layers of ledges everywhere, and you have to climb up these like sandy rocks. It was actually pretty fun. Um, but yeah, here is Kabuminator's Sky. Gape in awe. Everything's made out of these weird gems, because Kabuminator's like the miner. He mines a lot. And yeah, so now he has all these weird gems, and half these gems, I don't even know what they are. So this is Killer's House, I think. Uh, this is um, this is the like uh, house where he, made, where he made the deals of like... Um, for the for the big plan that we have that I haven't talked about yet really, this is Aquamarine's house. Aquamarine might be his new deputy, but we're not sure yet. He hasn't really decided. There's another guy who might also be the deputy, and this is his house, all diamond and emerald. This is like amazing, and I, I it's really hard to believe he actually did this himself, like in survival, but. Uh, I guess he did, actually. So the sun is rising. Whoa, great view from Kabuminator's sky. And there's one iron block here. But, yeah, this is pretty darn impressive, y'all. Very impressive. And these gems, I'm not sure how rare these gems are. What, what even is this? Is this like a bathtub tile? This looks like a bathtub tile. This, I think, is amethyst. I'm not sure where you get that, but he, he was somehow able to get a lot of it. Then again, he was able to get a lot of emeralds, so... Yeah, how the heck did he get that many emeralds? I have a mod, which allows you to farm emeralds, which, that that's really OP. But the diamonds, um, I really don't know. <laughs> that is very impressive. So yeah, um, and these gems, I, th I believe this is like Peridot, and this is Malachite, I think. So yeah, now time to describe the big plan. So, um, at the end of Season 2, we've planned, Kabum Kabuminator and I, to have uh, Hunger Games, like uh, Minecraft survival games at the end. I'm building a map and creative in a different world, and we're going to play all of that. It's not going to be mod like my series is. It's going to be... Because with mods, you know something's going to go wrong. And with 15 people, I, I don't want to take the risk. So the Hunger Games, it's going to be like the biggest episode ever. And um, just to make it more interesting and to motivate people to give us resources, we've decided that we should like award people points for the Hunger Games to spend on resources at the beginning of the game. So you can start off the game with like a stone or a wood sword or something else like food or armor at the beginning of the game. So what we're doing is we're giving people points based on how many resources they supply and each person was assigned a village 
that supplies a different resource. So it's somehow it's somewhat based on the Hunger Games, these villages, like, kind of. Like, the districts from the Hunger Games. So here is um, Village 1, my village, and all the villages here, which is our, which are my, my side. And this is Village 12, Kubuminator, and all the villages that are on his side. And Mr. 37 is just neutral, and he's going to be in charge of the trading. And each, all the resources are going to be divided evenly between both plateaus. And we have a system for how much each resource is worth. So, um, the village one is crafting. My job is to craft the really complicated crafting recipes, because I'm crafterman, y'all. So yeah, it should be easy for me. And village one was the first village we've ever discovered, so that's why it's village one. Also, it's mine, and I'm number one. <laughs> so this is village three. No, I should go in, like, number order. So this is village two, masonry, and it belongs to Beckbot. Beckbot's only joined my world twice. Not sure if he's going to continue joining. I hope he is. He's a really cool guy. If you're watching this, Beckbot, you're awesome. I hope you keep going. And we've assigned a village two, masonry, to him, so he's in charge of, like, stone, bricks, all that awesome stuff. So then village three is Redstone, and that's Pinecone's village. Pinecone is my deputy, and she is, uh... I don't know the right word to describe her. Just watch some videos which she's in, and you'll get a sense of it. Weird is the closest I can come to it, but she is really good with Redstone. So yeah, Village 3 will be hers with Redstone. Then Village, like, uh, she'll make some cool contraptions, and I'll award her points based on how good the contraptions are. So Village 5 belongs to Nick. It's enchanting. His village, Village 5, actually used to be a military base during the war, but now the war is over. We're going to use it for enchanting instead. So, yeah. And then Village 6 is, like, MC science, like, you know, potions, but also other things like tricks and glitches and stuff like that. It's hard to describe it. This is kind of, like, miscellaneous, almost. But it belongs to X Gamer, who's a really cool guy. Just joined my world. He's the one who I added to the Crafty Club. Village 10, mob hunting. That's Sandy and Express's village. And Village 15, this is, like, other dimensions, like, you know... Not the nether, but every dimension besides the nether, because, you know, like, the end. And there are also some other dimensions that I have in my different mods. So that belongs to Linzen. who has got a really cool YouTube channel. You should check it out, guys. And she's been in a few of my videos. So now, Kabuminator's side. Kabuminator is the miner. You can see that from this literally emerald and diamond house. So he's probably going to get a lot of points um, by mining. And then Village 4, it's fishing. He hasn't decided who's going to be the fisherman yet. But yeah, Village 7 is lumber, like wood. Actually, one of, probably the most important village. Mining and wood are probably the most important. And yeah, so that's Killer7709. Belongs to him. And then Village 8 is shepherding, like sheep and their wool. That belongs to Rubik's Cube, who's never been in a video before. But he will be soon, I hope. Well, not, I hope he's on Kabuminator's side. But uh, I might see him around, because even though he's not on my side. Village 11 is farming, like, food and stuff. It belongs to Aquamarine, who might be Kabuminator's deputy. She was in a few of the videos. She used to be on my side, but like Kabuminator, she turned, because Kabuminator convinced her. <laughs> and then Village 13 is actually just the spawn. There's, like, a little village there, and it belongs to Petercraft, obviously, because he's the only one there, and everyone else is scared to go there. So everyone's trying not to get sent to the original spawn spot. So Kabuminator and I made a mutual law that everyone has to sleep in a bed, before doing anything dangerous. In Village 14, which is the Nether, he's still deciding on who it is. There are two people he has in mind, but he's not sure which he should give Village 14 and which he should give Village 4 to. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to do for the Hunger Games. And yeah, so here's his mob tower. Pretty cool, and he's got an end portal there. Whoa, wait, how did he do that? Oh yeah, I forgot. There was like a the glitch with the floating stronghold here. <laughs> yeah, and that that's why he made the village. I, I totally forgot. So maybe now let's check out some of these houses, because, you know, we have time. Uh, so here's his furnace. Probably the how he smelts all these ores. And here is... Uh, whose room is this? Is this his room or the guest room? This is probably the guest room, because there's nothing cool. Dang it, I fell. Here's the dining room, and uh, then here's a ladder up to uh, probably Kubuminator's room. Uh, oh, no. This, I think this is still the guest room. Wait, what's what's over here? Oh, no. Which one's Kabuminator's room? Which one's the guest room? I have no idea. There used to be, like, armor stands here, but I don't know what happened. Here's this chest full of nothing. <laughs> Any of these diamonds and emeralds in your chest, dude? And here's Aquamarine's house. So she has, like, a little kitchen here. It's cool. Like a cafe, almost. And up here, she has beds of herself, I think. Um, let's see. What, what's in these? Nothing. Nothing. Why do... What is with Petercraft's side? No, sorry. Kabuminator... Blue Plateau side. And empty chests. Well, what's the point of that? 
Maybe it's to make people think they have something cool in there when in fact they don't. <coughs> okay. So, okay, what is this? What's this chest all about? Is this chest empty too? Oh, cool, no, it's not. What is this? Flint and steel, what? Oh, it says, will you do the honors craft room? The honors of what? What the? Oh, this is Peter Craft's flag. And this must be Kaboominator's new flag that he designed. He told me he was designing a new flag. So, and there's flint and steel in there too. Maybe he wants to, he wants me to burn down uh, Peter Craft's flag. I think I remember how that was shaped. Burn down Peter Craft's old flag and replace it with Kaboominator's new flag. So yeah, I'll do that. I'm very happy to burn down Peter Craft's flag and replace it with a slightly better flag. Not not much better, just slightly. But yeah, Kaboominator is like he he's okay. It's like he is the leader of my rival side, but at least not my enemy side anymore. Just my rival. And there's a weird glitch thing over there, but. We should ignore that. So yay, Peter Craft's flag is burning. His reign is through. Now it's time for a slightly better empire of Kaboominator's side now. So come on, last block. Burn, you can do it. Burn. Oh, dang it. Not not me. Don't. Oh, dang it. Now the fence is on fire. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, this is not working out as I intended. And, okay, I'm um, dying. But... Or maybe I'll just make... Okay, please don't die. Maybe I'll just make this kind of lower, I guess. <laughs> I totally messed this all up. I didn't mean to burn down the flagpole, too. But, yeah, so it was like a T, I think. Like the letter, almost. And, wait, uh, then I have to place some white wool down here, too. So, like, here, uh, here, here, then here, here, and here. So, yeah, this is pretty much the new flag now. Ah! Okay, that was... Please don't be at the original spawn spot. Oh no, I'm at the battlefield now. So I didn't get to fully see the new flag. But this was the this was the battlefield. And now maybe I'll give you a tour of this now. So this was the map of the battle area. This is the desert, and hopefully this should load in. But there's nothing really interesting here. This is our weapons and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. And this, uh, bat our battleship, was in the shape of a bird. A woodpecker, which is actually what I am. Doesn't this ship look kind of like me? Wait, no. Um, you know, like the wings and everything. Lo looks kind of like me, I guess. And this is, uh, Peter Craft's ship. Peter Craft's airship, which, uh, I'm surprised. None of the ships got blown up this time. Usually they do. But, um, sti I still have a lot of quartz, so I'm gonna pile over to here. And, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, so there was this, like, TNT cannon here. And Kabuminator had this, like, maze of tunnels and stuff. So maybe I'll show you his ship now, quickly. Because, um... Uh, he asked me to repair it, like, to repair the damage we'd done to it during the battle. And, uh, first I said, like, uh, no way, dude. But then he agreed he'd repair everything in my plateau that Petercraft destroyed. So I said, okay. So let's see, what's in here? What do we have? So, uh, there, please don't get lost. <laughs> smiley face. I hate how he does that, just smiley face. Okay, lava. Most people would try to attempt the parkour. Me? I don't. <laughs> so what's over here? Uh... It says, nice view, huh? Oh, I remember this. Yeah, it is a nice view, kind of. Pretty cool. And, uh, what else is here? Uh, there's... Uh, oh, not, don't want to fall into the lava. Well, the bed's pretty close, anyway. Dead end, yeah. He's tried to make, like, a maze, and he had a hidden trap door. This is where you learn to skydive, lol. Maybe I'll try that later. <laughs> um, he says everything's a dead end, but he used a secret hatch that we discovered right here. Haha, <laughs> I'm sneaky. And I'm gonna put this right here. So, sorry, I'm I'm breaking your ship again. So here was, like, the chests for the battle. Everything stored up. And this was, like, the cabin area with the beds. So I put his beds back. I don't know why he'd still need this ship. Maybe he's secretly planning another attack against me. So here's the trapdoor to the top, and this is where he'd shoot arrows from his ship. This evil blimp of Petercraft. This is Petercraft's... This was Petercraft's blimp during the battle, but Kabuminator designed it, so he knows everything about it. It's a pretty cool blimp, I have to say. I'm actually really impressed. Oh, wait. What's down here? Oh, yeah, there's just... Oh, cool. There's, like, a secret passage down to the TNT cannon, which he actually never used at all during the battle, but whatever. So maybe now I'll learn to skydive. Hmm, yeah, I want to skydive. Sounds cool. Um, really just fall out of the ship into some water down there. Whee! Oh, wait, no, there's lava here, too. Ah, help! Okay, I'm burning, I'm burning. So, yeah, um... So, guys, that's about the end of this episode. So, I showed you everything, all the great plans we have for the future, 
And, yeah, we burned down Peter Craft's old flag, replaced it with Kaboominator's flag. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!